Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. Okay, so as ever, I am in the shading tab. I've got viewport shading enabled. It's actually squished under here. Viewport shading enabled. Um, I've got the principal shader set up already applied to the material. And there are a couple of changes that I just need to make before we go any further. On my cloth material, this is my basic setup. Uh, obviously I've posted a video on this before, so do check that out. I'm gonna change the mode back to simple change the thickness to four zeros five after the decimal point i'm going to reduce the offset to zero and then in edge data increase this to 0.5 this to 0.5 and this to 0.25 and basically it gives you a much thinner fabric, which is good for things like silks and satins. Um, and also it sorts out any artifacting on the edges that you may get when you have the setup the way I do. Right, so let's get to the main uh, fabric here, which is a satin. So we need a texture coordinate. So press Shift A and search for texture coordinate. We need a noise texture and we need a color ramp. Okay. So the color ramp is going to go into the metallic slot. We're going to increase the specular to one, specular tint to 0.5, and keep the roughness at 0.5 as well. We can already see it starting to have sort of a metallic look. I'm going to take the factor from the noise texture and plug that into the color ramp, and then take the object properties from the texture coordinates and plug that into the vector of the noise texture. Change the settings on the noise texture as follows. So that's scale of one, detail of 15, and roughness of 0.65. I'm gonna move the, uh, change the interpolation mode on the color ramp to B spline, and move this black slider across till it's just below that arrow. Or just to the right of it so let me show you these independently so the noise texture is giving us a slight um, variation in tone the color ramp is intensifying that a bit and then the principal shader is adding the uh, shininess and also applying the roughness and what we can also do here is apply some color so let's choose something luxurious, like a chocolate box purple. Maybe take the saturation down a little bit. And there we go. There's your satin fabric. I guess you could get away with it being a silk, but for me, silk is slightly shinier. Or satin is basically a poor man's silk. Anyway. Either way, let's put that through render and see what we get. I'm using the Cycles Render Engine, and GPU, and 512 samples. One thing I didn't do, actually, to give this slightly more realistic feel and some translucency is actually increase the transmission to 0.5, and we could potentially increase the transmission roughness to 0.1. And you can probably see how there's now some sort of blue hints to it in various places. Anyway, these are just little details for a bit of realism. So let's uh, send that back. I 
And there we go, a lovely satin for you to play around with. I'll be doing more tutorials on materials with fabric soon and also um, some ways to manipulate fabric in the scenes as well. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and of course, subscribe for future content. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Thank you.